Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Happy Halloween to everyone. Today I'm coming to share with you Halloween project. I did create it a uh, Halloween folio. For that Halloween folio I did use uh, background papers which are also as my freebie for you for this Halloween. There are also circles. Uh, they will be also as a freebie for this uh, Halloween project. And I did use also a few sheets from my collections which I do have on sale for this Halloween week. Uh, if you like any of these papers, all the links will be down below. Uh, I will go through to all these all the steps I made in a few short videos. There will be not exactly step by step on every single uh, piece I created, but there will be steps I took to create this folio. There will be video every single day and I really hope you will enjoy them. Happy Halloween to everybody and come to craft with me. So on Halloween week, I do have for you some freebies and those freebies will be posted. The link for those freebies will be posted in the description box. You can see right now the circles. Uh, they, there will be one sheet of one and a half inch circles. All of them are decorated with Halloween images. They can be really beautiful embellishments on your trick or treat uh, bags and boxes or if you are wrapping your fork knives and spoons on your dinner table in some Halloween decorations. These can be also used for that or confetti for your table. They do have so many uh, ways how you can use them. That will be a link in the description down below. And there will be also a collection of background papers. I'm going to show them in, in the second. Background papers, uh, which you can use in your journals or in your photo albums. There will be also as my freebie for you for this week. Uh, for this Halloween and I really hope you will enjoy them. The link for these freebies will be in the description down below. And now I'm going to show you also what I do have in Halloween week on sale on my Etsy. There are three different collections. Uh, one collection with those uh, vintage adverts which I am showing now. Uh, there will be also a collection with Shabby Chic that's this collection shabby chic newspapers and also collection of a laboratory grungy laboratory papers these are on sale uh, for halloween week you can see those laboratory papers now and i tried to use few of these papers in my folio as well and they are kind of working really well for that for that grungy style so these will be freebies uh, not freebies, these will be on sale on my Etsy. And then for this week, I will have their kind of like combo. Uh, combination of small talk stickers. There is eight sheets of stickers with small talks for junk journals, for mixed media projects, for photo albums. You can use them so many ways. There is four sheets in white background and four sheets in black background and there is this small envelope with all kinds of numbers and words and this is on sale for this week so for my file folder i'm gonna create kind of like focal points uh, i've got here six by four uh, paper and it's normal prim printer paper i will uh, reinforce it with book pages and I just, <laughs> sorry for my hand, I just finished to distress edges on my fussy cutting. I do have here lots of moths and they will be like a basic embellishment on my, on my file folder. And also I'm going to be using, I do have few packs for those who would like to use it on my Etsy. I do have their packs from book pages, book pages itself and then cut out pieces which are great for making uh, like little layouts, soft layouts. They are just from book pages. There are these bottles uh, from Tim Holt. There are tags, uh, specimen slides, uh, tabs and this film strip. So I'm going to be using this one as well 
for stamping on my background I'm gonna be using this beautiful background stamp from Prima Marketing I know this stamp is long time uh, long time sold you can maybe find it somewhere uh, on on craft room sale probably I'm gonna show you here is the number hopefully you can see I don't have my reading glasses but I will type it down the the number here and it's really beautiful background stamp so that's i'm gonna be using for background stamping and for coloring i do have here a really very dark uh, coffee and tea mixed together and spongebob i'm gonna lift this up and kind of wipe it and i'm gonna be using not Spongebob, sorry, <laughs> Sponge, I wanted to say Sponge, Spongebob is my help <laughs> to remember that this is Sponge, <laughs> sorry for that, so I'm gonna be using Sponge to color my background and just very easy way, just a dab, dab and dab, first I'm gonna do it with this uh, kind of mix of uh, coffee and tea it's really very dark uh, color and it's uh, coloring really beautifully I'm gonna dry it with my drying tool so it's dry now and for the second uh, sponge stamping <laughs> I'm gonna be using uh, this is just water with black uh, watercolor like black watercolor mix so I'm gonna wipe it on my sponge <laughs> <laughs> so sorry that's my helping word you know spongebob is my helping word to remember that this is sponge and now with that black mix uh, i'm gonna you know i already used that so <laughs> it's a little bit messy but with that black mix i'm gonna stamp the rest and i'm gonna dry it again and i can make also stamping with the muck and i can add there and I like coffee stains and dry it again so my paper is dry now and I'm gonna take it at stamp add the ink and I'm gonna add here and there some stamping Just like this very soft stamping now I'm gonna take this poking tool it does have very sharp uh, edge and with that I'm gonna kind of start to rip my paper and do holes here and there you can use needle for this one and just to rip small parts just like this just small parts and I'm gonna take book page and glue that piece on the book page and cut the book page around with the small gap I'm gonna distress it one more time a little bit make these edges visible and I do have here a uh, vintage photo distress ink so I'm gonna just go around the edges and here and a little bit of black ink to the edges now all this I'm gonna glue on my book page and cut it around so I do have base like this now on this I can start to put my book pages and do very soft layering 
and I can also add some sewing on the edges. I'm gonna take that film strip, rip it here, and rip it somewhere here. And maybe this rest I'm gonna put right here. I'm gonna take one bottle, distress a little bit the edges. Place that bottle right here. I'm gonna have a look. I do have here my mini uh, collapsible <laughs> envelope with all kind of. Oh, I'm gonna use that totally. Uh, with all kind of Halloween words and quotes. Yes. And the moth. So just very simple. I do have there that bottle and I will have here that moth. And some word. I'm gonna place it. I do have peeking out through. I'm gonna move her a little bit on the side this way because I'm gonna add also sewing all around. So I'm gonna make a few of these simple layouts as my focal point for my uh, file folder. And here how your pieces can look like. I used only those uh, film strips. That's what I showed you that I do have those die cuts uh, in that pack from book pages. I don't have too many, but I do have few of them uh, on my Etsy. Link will be down below. But if you do have a dice, here you can see uh, how beautiful it can, it can look like if you will use few dice. It doesn't have to be huge amount, just few dice. I do have film strip, bottle, and those moths, and some board. That's it. With that background, it just makes a <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Uh, uh, tack or insert. I'm gonna just quickly show you what I do have here. Really very simple layering with that bottle and that film strip. It's just, <laughs> I don't know, it just makes so nice layers. And this one, it's from the books, The Bath and this moth. Uh, I found in this antiquarian sticker book. So if you don't have, uh, you know, printer and you can't print out some images and then fussy cut them out, or if you don't have stuff uh, where you will have already some moths and butterflies, maybe you can have a look in those books, in those sticker books, and use these stickers. And these will be my kind of like fo focal points in that file folder. I hope you did enjoy today's video and I hope you will find some inspiration in these small cards. Uh, tomorrow is coming another video where we will start to create base for our folio and I hope you will join me tomorrow as well. Thank you so so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you like this video please share that with your friends, share that in your social medias. It will help to grow my channel and I will be so appreciated. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself. Happy Halloween and I will see you soon. Bye.